It is just after 9 o'clock. We got here a little before 8.30. We did go ahead and pay for close parking. It was $20, but since neither of us have been here before, we just thought it would be better. There was free parking. We could have taken a shuttle. It was about a mile away, um, but we just thought we would use our car this way as a locker instead of paying for a locker here. A locker here for all day rental is $15 for the day, so it was $5 more to use our car, and it's a little further to walk to our car than to use a locker, but we'll deal with that. Um, it's not too cold out right now. The last I checked in our car for the temperature when we were driving, it was 36 degrees. Um, I'm sure it got colder, but as you can see, the sun is shining and it does not feel that cold to me. So hopefully the snow won't melt too much. Um, so my husband just ran back to the car to throw our shoes in there after getting our equipment. Um, and he's grabbing jackets and gloves and beanies, all the rest of the stuff that we just didn't want to be lugging around with us. Plus we knew we needed to throw our shoes back in the car anyways. Um, yeah, so he's doing that and then we're gonna be hitting the slope. So that's exciting. Like I said, it's been at least 15 years <laughs> since I've done this. So I'm a little nervous. Um, I've definitely gotten more cautious in my old age uh, for doing thrill things like this, but I am excited. It, the whole drive up, I was like, I can't believe I'm actually going to be snowboarding today. I'm going to be in the snow snowboarding today because being from Southern California where you have to drive to get to snow during the winter, this is just not, not normal. So I'm pretty excited about it and we're ready to get going. Well, I just made it down my first slope. Very beginner, funny slope. <laughs> and it took me probably an hour to do that, guys. <laughs> and it's not very long. There was many there were many falls um, on my bottom as well as my hands, my knees. Um, I didn't wipe out ever. So that's good. I think I stopped myself and made myself fall before that ever happened. <laughs> in the time it took me to go down one time my husband has gone down I think he's on his third or his fourth right now <laughs> I just had to go ahead he waited for me for a long time too so I was like no just go I need to deal with this on my own there are also a few tears <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's frustrating I used to be able to do this not like I was a or anything, but I was between a beginner and an intermediate, I would say, and I never remember having the struggle or the frustration of trying to get down and keep my balance and switching edges on my board. Like, I don't remember it being this frustrating at all, but I finally, like the last third of it, I was getting the hang of it. I also got some more powdery snow and that made a world of difference. The rest of it was really icy and that made it hard, really hard. It also hurt when I fell. So, 
I'm now waiting for my husband to get back down the slope. And I think we're gonna try again. So we'll see if I can maybe do it this time this time. I'm not giving up. Oh, here he comes. See him? There he comes with Eddie. Yeah. You know, easy peasy for him, right? You gotta move somewhere before you're allowed to fall. I'm saying before you fall, you have to move somewhere. You're not allowed to just fall before you even go anywhere. second run considering you were crying for like an hour and a half trying to get down the mountain the first time. Wow, nice job. Awesome. I can't believe it.
we went down that beginner slope three times. The first time, you know, was horrendous for me. And then the next few times, I got the hang of it. And the next time, which you guys saw the video that took me around three minutes to get down, and the time after that, I think it was even less. So, my husband convinced me to do a different slope, which I'm excited about. It's longer. It has, it's still supposed to be easy. There's a little bit in the middle that's a little more intermediate. So, it's gonna take us longer, go slow, but I'm excited for it, and it starts right down here. So we're gonna get headed, headed right over there. There's Sarah. Hi. Where do you go on the Black Diamond? No. Geronimo. Can't really see it too well from here, but yeah, pretty steep. Keep going, snow's nice here. Good job, goofy foot. Oh yeah. All right, trying to put my phone away. I'm Sarah. Sarah, do something cool. Legs on fire. 
Yeah. Need to do more squats. Need to practice more squats. This is a very boring video you're making. Going out of my way to snowboard while videoing. Do something exciting. Well, it's almost two o'clock. We stopped for lunch after doing that other slope one time. I think I need my glasses back on. It's really bright without them. Okay, better. Um, so we stopped for lunch, got some burgers. I brought some extra food, chips and fruit and drinks so we didn't have to buy anything other than a burger for each of us, which was good because the burgers alone were over $20 for us to each have one. So. Anyhow, we did so we did the slope once, we stopped, had lunch, we filled on liquids, which I desperately needed. I have a headache. And then we went back to the same slope and we've done it two more times now. But my right quad is killing me. It's just it's the foot that I have most in the back. Uh, on the snowboard and so the muscles are just like clenched almost constantly the whole time I'm going down and so they are just a lot of pain from not being used much lately. I got sick right after we came back from a trip from Maui and then I was finally getting better from that I think and then I ended up getting sick again like fever, chills, sick, and that lasted over a week. And so this last week I'm finally like getting back to recovery. So this is like my first dose of exercise for a while, like two months or something. So my muscles just haven't been used. If I had had been active prior to this, I'm sure it wouldn't be hurting me like this, but it's like, it's painful coming down. I have to stop just to let my muscles relax a little bit. Anyhow, so I'm just sitting here on the side of the mountain. Can you see back behind me? Ooh. And I'm just hanging out here. There's a ski lift right there. That's the one we've been going on over there. Oh, no, right there. No, no. The one next to it. Down there. I can't, I can't tell if I'm pointing to it or not. Anyhow, um, we were going to try a new lift. It's a little further that way. But I need a break. So my husband's going back on the same one again. He's gonna do that and I'm just gonna <laughs> stay right here till he comes back and hopefully my leg will feel better and we'll get on the other one. The slopes close at four so we have a couple hours left still to have some fun. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm so so thankful that I didn't give up and I pushed through it because after that first run things got significantly better. And it's, it's still not quite what I remember it being, but it's getting closer to that of how I used to be able to do it. So that's, it's been, it's been fun getting back to that. So the cheers weren't for nothing. <laughs> there he comes. Oh no. <laughs> you didn't see that.
Oh no! Oh no! Was that what happened last time? want to try it again. That's, no, I know. <laughs> and we just finished up for the day at Bear Mountain. It was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. We had a really good last run. We made it on the um, ski lift a couple minutes before they closed them down and so we got in one last run and it was great because there was hardly anyone behind us on the whole run and um, and at, at one point, because we had stopped, uh, there was no one behind us. So it was really nice. We didn't feel pressure to go a certain speed and I didn't get nervous from people zooming up behind me, which is what was happening earlier. Um, and my husband even got in a fun jump at the end and some hilly, slopey thingies, which is pretty cool. And my legs are burning. <laughs> So I'm probably going to be sore tomorrow, but it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. It was a great um, experience for us to do together. It's something we've never done together before, only individually. So that was really fun. So we're going to go find some place to eat in town here in Big Bear. And then we're headed home to go grab the kids. 